Hey everyone, D Dub Squizzy here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. So, here we are again. This will be the first time you're seeing me here, and you're probably confused as to why I'm not in Baragost. I've had a rough time. I lost all the footage of the episode before this one, where I went to High Hedge, then South Baragost Road, then North Nashkel Road. Basically, I just did exactly what I said I would do. Picked up the potion case, I also bought Horror and Mirror Image. Sold some stuff, finished those four basic little side quest encounter things, then came down to Nashkel. That was it. You didn't miss anything super serious. We got our plate mail from the Flaming Fist guys, and we did use the magic arrows to kill the flesh golems. So people are all like, everyone's leveled up now except him. And then I started to record this episode, where I plan on clearing out Nashkel and the Nashkel mine, or the Nashkel fair, and maybe the surface area of the Nashkel mines. And halfway through a super intense encounter at the fair, the game just away, froze up and shut down, corrupting the footage I had. So, let's just pray that it actually works this time. Alright, let's go kill Nira. Get over here. Oh, that's a cause wound spell, isn't it? Oh no, she's healing herself. She has damage resistance? Oh, she probably has armor of faith on. Okay, that person. I, I wasn't sure if I already had that armor. Sorted. Never had breath. No story. I should just leave them with this on. Very well. All right, all right. I will show you just All right, well, she dead. Only have a few things to do around Nashkel. I'm kind of just running through the motions. To my I had only just finished getting through the civilized areas and was exploring the wilds around the fair when everything went wrong. I don't even know what happened. I heard like a Windows notification sound and then the game froze up. Then it errored and shut down. Next thing I knew, I had lost any recording because I can't use... See, normally, I would use the screen recording mode. That's what I use to record almost everything else now. Because when the game shuts down, it's it just records the screen, which means you don't instantly lose all of your footage. And more importantly, because you can fix the lost footage, you don't lose your audio, because all the audio is gone when my footage gets corrupted, because whatever methods they use to restore the footage is worthless and stupid. Apparently it can't do that for the audio as well. For, you know, reasons. So I'm forced, or normally I would just use that, but on uh, Baldur's Gate, the screen recording mode only captured the base screen without moving past it. It was just a, an empty screen for the entire recording. Which forces me to use the game recording mode. Which, if you don't stop recording in the game, when you close it, it just corrupts the footage. When the game closes without stopping the recording. Oh, you have returned, and so soon. It's just a, an absolute nightmare. And see, I'm not used to having to stop that recording either, because I'm used to doing the screen recording mode, uh, where you can't hotkey bind starting and ending the recording. You just have to go in and press the button. Yeah, so Zordral over in the fair, he gave me a little bit of trouble. He was pretty durable, uh, real tricky, because he throws up precast protections, which is one of the reasons I have an Inquisitor, so I can deal with things like that. Hey, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. We gotta keep talking to him. Everything was going fine, though. And then I got into an encounter. I wasn't sure if I was gonna win it or not. I mean, there had to be 
at least 40 kobolds that attacked us. And I am not exaggerating. It was a group that appeared in front of us and then attacked us from behind as well as we started to flee. Or just try to get to a better position to fight them. It was like there were two groups of like uh, 12 to 15 regular kobolds, 6 kobolds gu kobold guards, which is a type of kobold I've never seen. They look to go all melee and stuff. And then a number of kobold commandos. And it was all of them, just in a massive pile. I'll see if we can find those groups again. Because if so, we're definitely not running from that fight. All right, all right. The real issue is the mage and the druid. Because the druid has no health at all. And the mage has no health at all. Basically, a single shot from a Cobalt Commando that rolls the right damage can one-tap either of them. I'm always ready to entertain. All right, all right. Sorted. You insist. Me will crush you. Crush you. Problem solved. All right. This. This and this. If you insist. All right. Well, let's just cut across the top of this area. Not the top of the area, but the top of the civilized portion of the area. Basically, the Nashkel Fair, Carnival, whatever you want to call it, is kind of a weird map. Like, half of it is wilds and half of it is not. And the half that's not is just kind of empty, for the most part. They have a few tents with some important stuff, but other than that, mostly nothing. I'll tell you, losing footage in general is extremely demoralizing. It's about the worst thing that can happen to you when recording. Not about, I mean, it's obviously the worst thing that'll happen to you when recording. And it just feels like there's no fix, like you've... And, and then I go back to record them like this because I want people to see stuff, but it just feels so hollow after. Because I've already done it all, I just have to redo it. I don't know. I don't hate doing it. If you insist. But it gets really exhausting. Cuz you know, you just want it to go well. You want people to enjoy themselves and you want to have fun doing stuff, but our technology just blows so much. I mean seriously, how in the world is it not a fail-safe measure to stop the recording or have it just decide that it is stopped when the game shuts itself down. It cannot be this complicated to keep the thing from corrupting everything. It can't be. And if you can recover the footage, why can't you recover the audio? Glad to meet you, friend. And I'm not saying that I have to know how to fix these things. What I'm saying is, uh, the people who are supposed to know how to do things don't know how to do anything. Clearly. I think our entire technological and scientific communities just gotten progressively stupid since the 1900s. And it's... Dumbness is uh, increasing exponentially. It's only a matter of time before the stupidest people of the population 
Actually, no, it's not. The stupidest people of the population are already the ones making decisions and taking control of things. You need a All right, so we got to kill that pickpocket, this guy. Problem solved. I shall attend to it in a trap. All right, all right. So I bought the potions. I don't plan on going to any of the other tents except this one. Leave us alone, will you? Come to you here. There it goes. The spell magic did not work. Look That's me. bad. Okay, you take cover. Both of you take cover. Uh oh. Um, this is not gonna work. I'm gonna try it anyway. Uh oh. Okay, that was just glitter dust. He missed with a 13. Uh oh. We can't stop that. Ow! Yeah, there he goes. Okay. Reload. Dispel magic did not dispel him. There it goes. Alright. Problem solved. Zordrell's a pretty high level, so I'll just cut back when we've got this spell worn off. All right. All right, all right. Let's head out. All right, all right. I don't think I disabled this one. If you insist. This way, good sir. Over here. Uh, yeah, we're done with that. Okay. We're going over here to hopefully explore the wilds again. If things glitch out again, I'm just going to chalk it up to a problem with the mod and not be sure what to do. Okay, so the kobolds, the big groups, were up here, I believe. See, I'm used to finding groups of kobolds out here, but that pile of them was unlike anything I've ever fought before. It was rather insane. I need to get the mage back a step, just so that if a fight breaks out... Because, see, we can't have them back up. If those things are going to flank us, having the party back up is, will basically kill us. already spend his identify on. Very well. Okay, we got a pile of them. Right. It's not that kind of a group, though. This is just kobolds. Get him. All 
right, all right. Okay, one group is dead, and those were just kobolds. Now, I have a zero, he has a negative one. Those are decent armor classes. But it looks like these groups are not coming out to fight again. I was kind of enjoying myself. It seemed pretty tricky. I had to actually put thought into how I dealt with kobolds and a random enemy encounter in Baldur's Gate 1. But how often does that happen? That you have to actually think about your moves in this game. There's usually like two or three fights that genuinely have any measure of difficulty. A random encounter of kobolds being tough? That's unheard of for me. But I guess they understood. Even a low level uh, adventure, adventuring party in this game can reach, you know, zero armor class very quickly, which basically nullifies most of a kobold threat. The way you counter that is just by throwing a lot of them at someone. And putting commandos into the mix. Okay, just because I want to see if I can get them to spawn. We'll make another round over the top. If they're not there, I'll just say we missed the encounter then. That's ah, too bad. That was like the first real SCS encounter we've had. I mean, the mages, even the bandits, have all showed to be a little bit smarter. And to just, the mages have more capability. The fact that they're all throwing sleep around, yeah, that, that changes the paradigm of the game entirely. But we haven't come across a real big enemy group that we had to really put thought into taking down yet. We'll get there, I know that much. I'd just like to finish off the one I already started. But it looks like they're not going to let me. C'est la vie. I don't think going south from the fair makes anywhere accessible. I believe the only way to get to the other mountain area is to go west, east, to go east from the mines. And I can never remember which of those two mountains is which, because there's the Valley of Tombs, and then there's the Ghibli Mountains, and they're both out in that direction. They both have nearly identical icons. It's dark now. The sun in Faerun, it just sets it quickly and deliberately. Man, we have found, like, nothing out here. Small group of basic kobolds. I'm kind of disappointed. I, I wanted to do that again. Alright. Well, I guess that's the fair cleared. Let's just head on down to the Nashkill Mines. I'll take a look around. You have been oh, right, this. And must defend yourself. Hail and travel. We should kill that one last, Sen. No, no, there's You should listen to Senjak, friend. Perhaps you've noticed our associates. Now then, empty your pockets. In. What's going on back there? This. This is impossible. Senjak! It's Edge Lord McEdulous. You didn't have to be this way. We've beaten you before, right, don't we? Right. Oh, yeah, no, don't talk Attack. to him, kill him. Except for you. There we go. Agreed. We'll just rest once we get to the other side. Right, fresh. Are you 
And I tell you, whoever it was that designed all of the dialogue for all of, like, the new Enhanced Edition combat and all this, anything relating to Siege of Dragonspear, just had to be, like, the biggest moron that exists. It's all so bad. I don't even know exactly how to describe its terribleness. But it's like, every line just sounds stupid. Everything that you can say to anyone, about anything, ends up being stupid. I don't know, it's because it's a common thing now. For everyone to, uh... Kind of parody D&D. &D, which, I mean, it is just a game, so who really cares in that regard? But on the other end... You want to actually enjoy it and tell yourself that there are real stakes or something, but I don't know. A lot of people like to try to make it impossible. Particularly the crowd who's always obsessed with trying to cram nonsense virtue signaling stuff into everything they do. How close are you to loading up again? No, it weighs off. Mage's lore just sucks. Got extra plate mail, but I don't think we need it. Very well. Oh, he had an excellent Wakazashi. Yeah, I was thinking to myself, why does he have two weapons that look pretty similar? Alright, let's Do not grab some rest. I'm gonna go grab an ice wand. You do that. Alright, so it'll be a little while before I actually do the Nash Kill Mines themselves, but I can clear out the ground level. Now I finally have some healing stuff. I've also got protection from evil. I should make use of that sometimes. It's only a turn, but in almost any fight, that's basically the entire fight. Alright, so let's kill the dogs. I shall attend to it in a trice. Alright, alright! Everyone stop. I'm on it. Death to you all! Get away! Ends here. I'm not sure why we even have the rest of the party. Thrug just kind of walks around and kills everything. Such is the life all of a right, Berserker, all right. though. All right, all right. If you insist. So given that this area is overrun with Kobolds itself, it stands to reason we're going to find groups of Kobolds, like that one at the fair, around here. I need to keep my eyes open, because they could spring on us at any moment. And if they do... We're gonna need to uh, to really think through how we fight. But I tell you that many of them, and some of them firing flame arrows, they'll put us down pretty fast. All right, all right. Yeah, I guess that sometimes when you're playing games like these, parody is unavoidable. Your life <laughs> And sometimes even, uh, what do you call it, refreshing and stuff. And I got nothing wrong with parody, but when it's, when everything you do is parody. Uh, then you can't really take anything seriously, and you can't get emotionally invested in any story that you're being told. Because it's all a joke. None of it is going to matter at all. Now, melodrama can get very exhausting very fast. If it isn't done right... It just comes across as uh, pretentious, preachy, pompous, and self-righteous. And you don't want to do that. 
I think it's not that hard to strike the balance. But I guess it's hard for modern writers who just really, really, really suck at their job for the vast majority of the time. Like, there's nothing wrong with taking seriously a story for the sake of the story. We suspend his belief for stuff all the time. And when you're trying to focus on realism for everything, it's just exhausting. The dialogue choices, though, in Baldur's Gate have always kind of bugged me sometimes. It always feels so one-dimensional, caricature-esque. Like, there's no real substance to what's being said or done the vast majority of the time. I'll give credit to some of the old companion quests in Baldur's Gate 2, though. A lot of them felt, I don't know, very involved and real. But they were all kind of different, right? For example, you have Animan's quest, where his sister gets murdered. And he needs... some good counseling to not make a terrible mistake out of revenge and family vengeance. For now. All right, all right. That quest line actually feels like you're dealing with a person. A lot of people don't like Animan, and I can understand why. He is kind of a, uh, a pompous moron most of the time. But he feels like an actual person with understandable motivations and reactions who wants to make his father proud, but also completely dislikes his father because his father is a drunken fool. Who's mistreated him his entire life. But he still wants to make him proud, and he believes that the way to do that is to go take vengeance. But on the other side of the coin, he's also a knight, who can't just go indiscriminately murdering people without real evidence of anything. And so you have this struggle that actually feels real, and the motivation behind it makes sense. I mean, between his own desire for vengeance... Oh, there we go. This is bad. Okay, everyone take a step back. Get up there, charge that commando. Okay, this isn't a massive group, there are a couple of them. See, that, that's the guard right there that I was talking about. Got him. Oh boy. Kill that thing. They took a chunk out of him. Yikes. Noma Stiga? Cobalt's not normally wield poison daggers. It's evident they've been given the means to make these. What? What? 5% chance of nicking yourself. They have poison daggers. Was that what the guard was using? Agreed. Oh, no. I have to actually be careful around these things now. Oh, that is not the best news. But on the other hand, it is the best news. Man, yeah, those cobalt commandos just do not miss. They start firing, people start getting hit. I need to get a mirror image. Speaking of, how long does mirror image last? Only one turn. All right, all right. That is not ideal. I don't think... True Sight does not dispel your own illusions, does it? Man, I really hope not. Oh, I'm afraid now. Grey Wolf is a barbarian, isn't he? He might use some kind of funky barbarian rage, make himself immune to a good majority of what we'll do, oh, and just are. massacre no, the party. I... This could go poorly. Okay, so this Let's encounter is the same. Right four regular cobalts. Ow. Stupid things are critting every other swing. Well. 
I'm also somewhat afraid of Winter Wolves. Winter Wolves uh, usually don't hit because they target people that they're not going to hit, like fighters or paladins that are up front with good armor and stuff. But if that thing targets the mage, I mean, it would be able to instantly kill him for, like, the vast majority of the game. Because they do enough damage that people will just die. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got the room. So yeah, those kobold guards have poison daggers, which are not magical, they're just poisonous. Would be interesting to use if you didn't have a 5% chance of poisoning yourself. Your life ends here. Okay, we should stop. We should heal him fully, or at least as much as we can. Oh, wait a second. You have a cure moderate wounds. Nice, we'll hold that in reserve. How good is this? 2d8. Whoa. That's a massive jump. I mean, it's, it's just an extra dice on top of the Cure Light Wounds, but... I mean, that's, that's a very high healing potential. It's pretty good. Alright, alright! Yeah, give that to him. He might need it. Going up against Grey Wolf is no small task normally, but I'm almost certain that he's something the Sword Coast stratagems made much more dangerous. But killing him should be worth it, because I'm pretty sure he still has um, Farscona, which is a fantastic weapon, even though only our swashbuckler would be using it. It can get the job done. And it means we wouldn't have to worry about him replacing any swords that he's got or keeping extras or anything. The problem is it's going to organize my party for me when the fighting starts. Which means it's going to be difficult to set up properly. Let's just see what happens first. Beauteous creature! You are my masterpiece. Alright, well at least the Berserker is up front too. None cross gray He's dual wielding. Sorted. Okay, he has a fantastic armor wish. class. I don't even know if he is evil. Are you evil? Uh, no, you're not. Okay. You insist. Potion of freedom. What a very gray wolf move. Roll a 20. Try to put him to sleep. Yeah, I didn't think that'd work. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, he's immune to that. Okay. He's only got bad armor, though. Tear him up. Got him. Excellent. Potions. What a filthy move. But awesome. I love it. Sweet. Of course. Very well. All right, let's head back to Nashkill. Yeah, see, even that. It was just one dude, and he didn't require an exceptional amount of thought or care to fight him. But you at least had to use what you had, because he was using what he had, right? The oil of speed also didn't seem to make him super fast. 
but I'm imagining it made him swing really quick. Does it actually haste you? Doubles movement rate. Yeah. I'm not sure why it didn't. If you insist. Very well. Now someone actually leveled up. Oh, awesome. Let's just take the last one of these so I can put everything into axe now. We'll go grab our sleep first. Just gonna have to identify everything. Traveler's Robe is the best defense against missile attacks, and that's the thing that mages need to guard against anyway. Just a column of ice, but that can have its uses. these poison daggers are worth any significant money. Let's sleep first. If you insist. Very well. Very well. All right, all right. If you insist. I imagine they're not going to be worth much, because they're not very good daggers. They just have some poison on them. Angel skin ring. 37. Is the next one going to be worth less? 33. Not by much, but a little bit. Cool. All right, all right. Um, right, we already got our sleep. Okay, so that's going to do it for this one then. I don't think anything glitched. We're all good. I feel good about this. Man, that was pretty cool. I mean, we had some, some basic... That, those kobolds, by the way, that encounter, it had the same kind of variety. But there was only one commando, two commandos, and one guard, and then like four or five other kobolds. As opposed to, you know, 25 kobolds, and like there being five commandos, and three or four guards, and all the rest were regular kobolds. So, it wasn't quite the same kind of encounter. But it was cool nonetheless. And Grey Wolf's fight, that was pretty neat. And now I know they have poison stuff, so... I should probably... Have him take a slow poison before I go into the mines. Probably. Alright. Well, that's going to do it for this one then. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.